hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is me Mila and uh, in today's video I'm gonna share with you guys how I applied my residency visa here in New Zealand so um, I did it by myself with the help of my husband and we did not hire any immigration advisor and yeah we got uh, I did apply it last last year December 19 2021 and I got my visa approved last May 30 2022 so stay tuned guys I'm gonna share with you what I have submitted all the documents I prepared and all the tips and advice I'm gonna share with you shortly thank you hello i'm back so let's this uh let's discuss about residency visa so anyway i'm just gonna introduce shortly about myself so i did came here in new zealand last january 2021 so i applied for a cp cpvv visa they call it critical purpose visitor visa so yeah, that's how I came here in New Zealand and I applied it also online and I got that visa uh, for three weeks after I applied. So I got it within three weeks. So anyway, <laughs> I before I came here, I worked and lived in Dubai for the last 10 years before I joined my husband here in New Zealand last year. So anyway so i just want to share with you my residency visa um you know guidelines that i did by myself so um there is main uh, there is five main uh, criteria that you need to prepare when you plan to uh submit a residency visa application based on partnership so before you launch your application make sure you have all the documents ready and yeah should be a solid really good valid documents so so i'm gonna give you the first one it's the evidence of living together so that's one main big evidence that you need to provide to the immigration case officer so before that um there's uh you need to make sure that you have lived minimum one year uh with your kiwi partner or your new zealand partner at least you live together for a minimum of one year before you are eligible to apply for residency visa so if you haven't lived together for one year then you are not um, eligible to apply for that visa you can apply a different visa instead like work visa so anyway since <clears throat> me and my husband lived together for one year so I uh, I applied the visa straight away after we lived for like one year so that's 10 months we lived together in New Zealand and two months we lived together in Dubai while I was working there so all in all in total that's 12 months so that's one year so so that's that's it guys you have to make sure you have at least live one year um, living together so under the evidence of living together you need to submit um, the rental lease for if you are renting so you need to provide rental letter from your landlord or if you are not renting if you are just um, living with your parents or family and friends then you have to provide a support letter from your family and friends testifying that you have been living with this 
house with this address for one year so you need to provide that to the immigration uh, case officer and so one thing is you need to um, provide like delivery receipts that you live in this particular address for a year that you and your partner live together for one year in this address so you can either order online shopping and and it should be addressed both of you both of you you and your partner in same address so you can submit that evidence to the immigration officers i did that i collected lots of um, delivery receipts in while we are living in dubai for two months and while we are living here in new zealand for 10 months so i compiled everything make it in a pdf file and i label everything every month so january february i label that this month this is the delivery seats i ordered online with both of our names me and my husband just to make sure that um you know we have everything um correctly <laughs> Uh, all the evidence should be correct and <laughs> straight to the point <laughs> anyway so uh, what else should uh, we submitted also um, a support letter from my father-in-law and my sister-in-law to testify that we live in my father-in-law's house for the last 10 months here in New Zealand so that's also one way you can submit if you are living with family or friends you can ask for a support testimony letter that you've been living in that place in that address so um, the next thing is you can also um, provide your joint bank account with your partner or joint credit card or joint if you have joint mobile plans you can submit that one and you can also submit um, photos of you and your partner um, doing the household chores and doing grocery shopping so anything that fits in the criteria of living together so you can submit photos um, with your uh, family meeting with your family uh, while living together so yeah that's also you can submit that document and what else let me check my um, my list so yeah you can also submit like a joint your utilities bill showing your address and your name on it your name and your partner's name in the utilities bill and yeah I think that's mostly yeah that's what I that's what I have submitted to the immigration officer so I'm gonna provide everything in the doc in the um in this video in the description box in this video I will put everything all the documents I submitted to the immigration case officer so the next main criteria that you need to um, submit to the immigration advice uh, case officer is the evidence of genuine and stable relationship so in that um, area you have to submit like your time the letter like the timeline of relationship so that's um, you can in that letter you can put how you started um, like seeing the first time you meet your partner how did you become you know, like it's like your love story but in just a very short um, letter like you can just put okay uh, we meet my partner last December 19 blah 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 we got engaged on this date we got married on this date in the church uh, in Philippines or whatever country and then currently we are living together in this 
um, plays, blah, blah, blah. So it's just, it's very short timeline relationship letter. You have to do that under the evidence of genuine and stable relationship. And also you have to do a, uh, you can submit like WhatsApp or any chat history. Um, you've got since the day you were dating or seeing each other with your partner so you can um, download all your whatsapp history or facebook messages history and compile it in one file and yes submit everything to the immigration case officer because they need that one also and also if you've been calling each other if you're in a long distance relationship then you can also submit the Skype call logs or um, Zoom or Facebook messenger logs. You can also submit that to the immigration. That's also part of the evidence of genuine and stable relationship. You can also uh, submit any social media post um, about your relationship with your partner showing it to the public so you can take screenshots with your Facebook post take the screenshots compile it in a PDF file and yeah you can also submit that one and if you've been already married you can submit a marriage certificate and your wedding photos and you can also submit photos of both of your families you meet both of your your partner's families, your partner's friends, you can submit that one. And also you can also submit like if you have, you know, you're giving gifts to your partner like birthday or any anniversary. Um, yeah, you can submit that as, you know, to the immigration officers. You just take, take any screenshots, picture, put it in the, one file, compile it, put a label, what is this event all about, so that the immigration officer knows what it's all about. And yeah, you can submit everything. So submit as much, as many evidences that you can. And yeah, so the more, the better. And yeah, if you have like, if you've been traveling together with your partner outside like out overseas yeah you can submit that one also your boarding pass or airfare ticket or any hotel for both of you so that's also part of evidence and of genuine and stable relationship so the th the third one the third criteria you need to um, make sure you have it ready is your um, police clearance so police checks that you need to have it uh, valid for the last I think two, two years so um, you need to get that if you've been living in your main country and you live also in different countries for over a year then you need to get another police clearance so like me I lived in before I came to Dubai I lived in Philippines so I get the police clearance in Philippines and I also get one police clearance in Dubai because I live in Dubai for almost yeah 10 years so I submitted two police clearance to the immigration advisor uh, sorry to the immigration case officer so yeah, so you need to get that ready because getting a police clearance takes time. So make sure you have it ready. And then the fourth one, sorry guys, the fourth, uh, the, the, uh, fourth documents that you need to have it is the health, the health check. Like you need to get a general medical certificate and chest x-ray when you are applying for residency visa so yeah that one it's really easy you can get it here in new zealand so you just have to pay uh, i forgot how much did i pay i think i paid 500 dollars all in all 
here in Wellington so that's uh, yeah you need to get that uh, health health uh, sorry health check general medical certificate and chest x-ray so you need to submit that as well and the uh, the last one is the sponsor sponsored sponsorship form we call it uh, INZ 1178 so you need to fill in this form with your uh, Kiwi partner if he's the one who sponsored you or your New Zealand partner so you can uh, ask him or her to uh, help you fill in the form and you need it to get it signed by the JP which is the Justice of Peace here in New Zealand or if you're outside New Zealand you can ask a lawyer to sign it uh, there you have to sign it at the last part of the form so yeah that's that's the main documents guys you have to submit when you are applying for residency visa based on partnership so the other documents you're asking is only your passport your photo your personal data like your birth certificate your passport details that's very easy to to submit so the rest is yeah the rest that's the main five right five main documents that you have to comply and have it ready when you are planning to um, apply for residency visa application here in New Zealand so uh, everything I share that's what I did with my application and I got uh, I got my residency here without uh, having to go and pay the immigration um, advisor which is very very expensive and costly so yeah uh, all the visa I applied here in New Zealand um, I did it myself with the help of my husband and yeah so we did it DIY we just pay uh, we did not hire any any advisor and yeah so if you have a very straightforward situation you can just do it yourself and if you have complicated situation then it's better to ask help from the immigration um, uh, advisor or lawyer here in New Zealand it's better to ask help if you really have a complicated situation so anyway guys just to let you know disclaimer I'm not an immigration advisor or lawyer or affiliated to any uh, immigration uh, company so I just share this to you guys as my experience my personal experience applying um, for my residency visa so um, the residency it's very it's the it's you have to make sure that yeah what is this <laughs> what am I saying or if you're applying for a residency visa um, uh, my my advice would be to continually continue to continue um, collecting evidence like the living together evidence like collecting delivery receipts every month while waiting for your visa result because it takes time before you get the result it takes four months five months one year before you will get your approved vis residency visa like residency visa so so while waiting for your uh, result make sure to keep uploading um, current evidence in the realme account so just keep doing collecting as many evidence that you can and submit it online to your realme account then yeah the more evidence is the better and yeah keep everything labeled and organized so that the immigration case officer knows what documents is this so you know so it's easier for them to check your application and 
assess and make a final judgment of your visa <laughs> so that's it guys i hope you find this video uh, helpful and informative and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section i will try to answer all your questions if i'm not busy working <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for uh staying and um subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel i will deeply deeply appreciate it <laughs> and that's all that's it guys thank you very much and have a lovely day and i wish you a good good luck to your uh, visa application here in New Zealand. Bye-bye!